Today is an exciting day. My rod came in for my Bubba Shot. If you're unfamiliar with a Bubba Shot, it is a heavy weight or a heavy duty way of doing a drop shot. Using heavier line, a heavier rod, heavier weight, heavier hook. And it gives an alternative presentation to when you're flipping. And maybe they don't like that weight right there. Maybe they're being a little slow. You can still get that presentation down there more finesse with a little bit of heavier weight. And that's what a Bubba Shot is. Traditionally, I've seen a, quite a few people doing the Bubba Shot on their bait casting rods, uh, their medium heavies. What I've got is a medium heavy spinning rod. Um, that's something I've seen uh, a couple of pros turn to where when they're using spinning rods, they're actually using heavyweight rods. That would be uh, Aaron Martins, who's known quite a bit for his drop shot technique um lately and in, in the past couple years uh, about two about two three years he's been using a medium heavy david dudley um who just won uh angler of the year flw he uses no less than a medium heavy with his spinning rods or in any of his setups and i asked him specifically and he responded <clears throat> so let's get down to the unboxing let me show you something quickly so this is the tube it came in it's about half the diameter of the tubes that they originally used to come in which were uh quite a bit sturdier um, my other rods there was never a bend in any of these i've gotten uh gotten a few of these rods in these newer packaging newer packaging here so if you're going to send a rod to yourself if you're moving if you're taking a vacation or just transporting a rod in general. Uh, you'd want to go with uh, the one that's much larger than this and you can check my other reviews to, to see those tubes. Uh, but this this one made it here all intact so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get it out. And what I'm gonna do, get to it quickly, put that here, take this, pull this off. This came right off, no problem. Got foam. And I remember before these were also connected on the back. The back also has a significant amount of tape on it, which I don't mind. Keep my stuff secure. So after I did the first one, I was just about to say I'm more proficient, but we just seen me not do that. So no longer the staples. They used to staple it. I feel a little bit more secure because anybody with one of these could have had my rod. So these come right off all right this is a little harder to chase now and we've made it I got it out all right all right so here we are seven foot medium heavy spinning rod this is by Enigma. This is an Enigma Phenom. Enigma Phenoms have a 30 ton blank wrap with 50 ton X tape Alps guides. So Alps guides going down to uh, going down to semi micro guides. Not complete micro guides, but semi micro guides. I like that better because many times I'm using braid to a leader. One of the key things I like about these is the forward grip. So if you take a spinning rod and you put a spinning rod on here, or excuse me, if you take a spinning reel and you put a spinning reel on here. For example, I have here spinning reel. So with the spinning rod on, you see the grip is forward so when I am doing my applications this is how I generally hold it and so when I'm doing my finesse applications it's good that the grip is forward I don't hold mine back here and I don't really do a traditional split grip but I'll do a 
I'll do a grip here where I have the pinky. So I believe this is uh, nine guides, nine guides plus the tip for a total of uh, 10 guides all together. Incredibly light rod. And I like this. I've been experimenting with the Bubba Shot. Let the car go by. I've been experimenting with the Bubba Shot with my other medium heavy. I have a Flats Master medium heavy and it has a full cork back. It's an inshore rod. And so it has just a little bit of grip right up front with the forward clamp. And I found it less comfortable for the type of fishing you do for bass. So got this rod, including it in my collection here. You can see I have several Phenom rods behind me. Phenom, Phenoms here, HBTs and Epins. All these rods here are Enigma rods and excellent rods. So that's a, my unboxing for my rod. I'm going to put this to use tomorrow again with the Bubba Shot and I'll show you more of how that's rigged up uh, once I'm actually out in the field. If you've been here this long, thank you for watching. If you have any questions about the rod, about any of my rods or equipment, please feel free to ask. Love to discuss equipment. I'm really into uh, the mechanics and what they're made of, how they work. So comment below. Thanks for watching Large Mouth Lunkin' and stay tuned for the next one.